All right, now in this lesson, we will discuss our question eight um, from this question paper on November 2018. This question is about e measurement. Um, in the description below, you'll find my links for other questions for this question paper. One record here. Um, in this question, but he the diagram below shows a cone with a perpendicular height of h centimeters, a radius of r centimeters, and a slant height of 13 centimeters. So the h, the h and the r are unknown. And then in this box, basipa ama basipa volume as well as the total surface area of the cone, right? So lana. 8.1 babu ya gebati um show that the volume of the cone is given by this volume is is given by this expression or this equation so v is equal to 169 pi times h minus pi times h to exponent 3 divided by 3 so an important thing to note in this equation is that uv is equal to bigger on the numerator uno h as well as ubani u pi so therefore if ever uzo seven sa the formula for e volume you need to express u r in terms of ubani in terms of h right so since u r ang na no no h ang na eh si zo loganza si zo yenza u si zo express a u r in terms of h Okay, so for 8.1 volume, I'm going to show the V. Um, we need to show that the volume is equal to this. So, so same inside the volume formula, V is equal to 1 over 3 pi r squared times h. This r commonly express in terms of h. Since on this equation, V equal to, we don't have U r on this equation, right? So, so this ends so on again. Okay. So the seven is the theorem of Pythagoras uh, to calculate um, or make or express U R in terms of U H. So since this is a right angle triangle, so thirteen squared is equal to H squared plus R squared. Then we transpose uh, U logans U U H so that in sale no R squared. You're gonna something like this um, r squared equal to 169 which is 13 squared is equal to 169 and then the h squared is transfer transposed to the left hand side so we're gonna minus h squared and then uh, okay in terms of the answer, so tata this r squared yes this r squared you eat is substituting into this formula for the volume so the formula for the volume is equal to v um v is equal to 1 over 3 pi in brackets it's r squared which is 169 minus h squared times h then i simplify the for, i simplify for the bracket the h you multiplier inside the bracket as well as the pi you multiply inside the bracket so after doing that is over no v equal to 169 pi h minus pi h cubed divided by 3 which is the same as this okay. so says combisile this is our final answer and it's the same as this expression on 8.1 now says is alana gu h.2 8.2 not h.2 but 8.2 um if if h is equal to 12 centimeters, determine the total surface area of the cone. So, mind you, seva sipa ini, seva sipa ulogaj, iveluga h, right? If I have h, now I can calculate e, I can calculate the value for r, just like lunch. You have on, on 8.1, 8.1, see, express r in terms of h, right? So, 8.2 8.2 uh, the surface area was pili formula the surface area is equal to plus pi times r times s the s is the slant height right is the slant height so therefore uh, 
since you know r squared as well as ubani u r i need to work out u r square u, 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 r, u r squared gala by substituting u h the given h so when you substitute a lapa 169 minus 12 squared uh, then u r is over equal to um, the square root of 169 minus 144 12 squared is 144 and then our answer is equal to 5 lan, right it's going to be equal to a 5 but but let's go back since we are squared so we need to simplify further la. Uh, so simplify further all right 169 uh, 169 minus 12 squared is equal to 25 so answer it with 25 la. we have a 25 r squared is equal to 25 and then r is equal to um it's equal to what's this it's equal to is equal to <laughs> what's this is equal to 25 and then r is equal to 5 then we simplify all right, now I see, I guess you would substitute a formula to for a surface area, so it's pi in bracket, it's r squared, r squared is 25. So it's 25 uh, plus pi r5, and then the slanted height is 13. So our answer, our answer is OT shift pi, times 25 uh, plus a shift pi times 5 times 13 our answer is 90 pi maybe it's not like in decimal form 282.74 square centimeters this is our final answer right okay this one was um they straightforward and easy. I hope so. I hope every, everyone we wanna we wanna jalo this problem. Um, so this concludes our question eight. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Um, if we enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and share. Uh, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. So thanks for watching. Aspunan on the next on the next video. Bye bye.